Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this small video, I'm going to show you a new feature in iOS 14 for Swift UI. Now, sometimes what happens is that we have some sort of a state and we are changing the state. But once we change the state, we want to get notified that the state has been changed. Now, if you have learned React or if you have done React, uh, there is a function called set state. Obviously, this is React and not uh, basically what we are doing over here, which is Swift UI. But in set state, or if you're using set state, the second argument is the one, the completion handler, that fires when the state has been set, because the state is being set asynchronously. So how can we do those kind of things in Swift UI? Well, in iOS 14, there is a new function that is added, which is called the on change. And on change is going to allow you to listen to the changes of a particular state. So if I want to listen to the counter value being incremented or change anyhow, so I can simply go ahead and say counter. And I can perform some sort of an action over here. So I can say print and the value. This means that anytime the counter is going to get changed, this is going to get fired and then we will print out the value. Let's go ahead and actually run this and see if it prints out the value or not. Here we go, our application is running. I'm gonna go ahead and press the increment button and you can see that as soon as I press the increment button, it changes the state, it updates the state, which is the counter value, and the on change event fires giving me the value or the current state of that particular state, which is one, two, or six, or seven, whatever the value of counter is. Now, obviously, this can also work with other structures. Like if you are using a view state model, meaning if you have some sort of a view model, content view model, which can have different properties. So you can have a property called, let's say, name. And maybe we can have another property called age. There we go. All right. And let's say that we are just initializing both of these things with some sort of a value. So some over here and something over here. I mean, obviously this is not correct. You should initialize the value, even making it null. You can make it null if the age can be null, you can make it null if, but we're just bypassing all of those things. And if I do go ahead and create a state over here, view model, which is a private var vm equals to a content view model content view model. There we go. And now if I go ahead and increment the age, so vm.age equals to or whatever, plus equals to one or just equals to 10 or whatever, or 56 or whatever. And now I can go ahead and put the actual vm over here. So now what on change is going to capture will be the actual content view model. And this is pretty cool that you can actually do that. Uh, make sure that your content view model is obviously uh, equitable. So we're just going to go ahead and use that for now. And if we launch it, and if we press the increment button, you can see that we are actually getting the content view model. So the thing that actually changed. So this is really great if you want to perform some action on the state changes. Maybe you are changing the state when uh, you get something from a web service. So using an asynchronous request, you're changing the state and on the change of the state, you can perform another asynchronous request. So you can do a lot of cool things with this handler, which is on change, introduced in Swift UI for iOS 14. Now, if you like these videos and want to support my channel, the best way would be to check out or become my patron. You can go to patreon.com slash Hazam Sharp and you can see there are different membership levels. There's a silver tier and there's a gold tier. The silver tier is going to allow you to get access to the exclusive videos and the gold tier is going to allow you or give you access to everything, which is exclusive videos, digital publications, article books, early access, discounted coupons, behind the scene footage, and so much more. So if you want this channel to keep growing, please make sure to become a patron. Patron will get exclusive content, ad-free content uh, that you will enjoy. Also, in the YouTube description, 
there is a link to my all my courses. If you are interested, you can also buy my individual courses from Udemy. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I really hope that you have enjoyed this video.